Hello, welcome to Never Enough Cruising. We've never done a, an unboxing on uh, our channel and today's going to be no exception. But we are going to do an unbagging. The other day we were given a boat safety pack. Now some people will say, what's a boat safety pack? Um, this is a free um, safety item provided by normally your local fire service. Here's the bag. We picked this up from a local, um, well-used uh, establishment called a pub, uh, who the fire brigade dropped them off and they distribute them to any boat that needs them. Now, as from April the 1st, 2019, so what we're talking uh, eight months ago, it became um, part of your boat safety certificate scheme to have a um, CO meter as well as your smoke alarms on your boat. The fire service in this area provides this pack and I believe other fire services do it as well. You'd have to go to a local fire station and ask um, or find out if they leave them around the area. Um, in with this pack you get a nice letter of introduction telling you what the uh, scheme's all about and uh, some information on where to put your al alarms and how to fix them up. So that's the first covering letter. You get a nice little fire safety on boats booklet. It gives you loads of information about, uh, it's not just narrow boats either, it, it's all leisure craft whether you live on them or not. Um, as, part, as I say, it's part of the boat safety scheme. So loads of information in there, and we've actually seen. We didn't see that particular boat. We saw one but quite we did, similar, didn't we? We saw one going up, and the fire service were attending, putting the fire out. Um, just after we first got our boat, actually. Um, carbon monoxide safety on boats. There's another little booklet inside with loads of information again of why you need one, and as I say. You won't get a boat safety certificate without one. And then a nice little sticker to put on the window so when the fire service walk past, and they do, um, shows that you've been given one of these packs and they, they know you're safe inside. And the best part of all, you get the smoke alarms. And that's two of and a CO detector as well. Smoke detectors, not smoke, well, smoke alarm, smoke detectors. So, what's inside these boxes? Oh, we are doing an unboxing. Right, inside, the, and these are free, by the way. You don't have to pay for these. They want you to be safe so they get called out less, which is un understandable. So you get the manufacturer's instruction booklet, make sure you read that because it tells you where to place them. It also tells you where to place them on the cover and letter. Um, so make sure you read that. The alarm itself with a, a wall fixing or they do provide with the kit these little sticky back foam things so you, can, you don't have to damage the walls by screwing them in. Um, I believe these are sealed for life, these ones. It says 10 year warranty on them. Press to test and silence alarm. So let's find out, shall we? Nothing is yet. Best I read the manufacturer's instructions before I do anything with that. So, smoke alarm. CO alarm. You only get one of these in the pack. Um, if you've got a single compartment boat, you only require one of these. If you've got different sleeping accommodation with a door, it's advisable. I did have a quick look just now on the BSS um, website. It's advisable to have one in each room of your boat. And uh, with this one, we will have. Let's say these are sealed for life. Must be a pull tab in them, is there? Yeah, I think there must be. I'll read the instructions later before I put it up. I just wanted to show you guys that these this kit's available. There's a mountain back there. There's the instructions that come with it, manufacturer's instructions. And we have 
already got one of these, in fact two of these on the boat, carbon monoxide alarm, XC70. This one here is we keep for the kitchen and uh, that's what they sound like when they go off the dogs don't like it much. Well, we test these every month don't we? First of each month. Yeah, we'll go through the boat and test all the alarms and make sure everything's up to date. As I say, we have one of these in the living space, which is just down by Amanda's chair, head level. So if she fell asleep in the chair, because that's what the, this gas does to you, it's what they call a silent killer, um, you'll fall asleep and you won't wake up unless you get out of the uh, situation you're in. So we, we have one of those placed in the living space here behind me um, at head level when we're sat down so if you do go to sleep in your nice comfy chair that goes off you're going to wake up there's also one in the bedroom at level with uh, where our heads would be when we're asleep we've also got a smoke alarm in there a smoke alarm in here and uh, one in the engine room but um, we're going to be adding to those with, with this uh, contents of this pack so the boat will be even safer. Um, there are, in the BSS, it uh, gives you the um, standard to which these have to be at. Uh, so make sure you check that before you go and purchase them or get hold of one of these packs from your local fire brigade and then you'll know they're up to the level they have to be because obviously there are cheaper ones out there I suppose. Right so I hope you've um, it's been interesting to you uh, to know that these packs are out there and as I say they are free. Um, go and see your, your fire service. Give them a ring. Give them a ring see where you can pick one up see if they do do it as I say this is uh, they have been known to actually uh, walk down the towpath handing them out as well. Um, There's a number on the front of the bag, which I believe is an 0800 number, which is, is free to fun. ring. Um, ring that number and they'll tell you where you can go and pick one up, I would imagine. It's for your safety and you won't get a BSS certificate um, unless you have one of these alarms. And that's been from 1st of April 2019. And we've got another, I think, 18 months left on ours yet. So I'll have to start going through that and checking the boat out. Right, just been having a look at these. Um, they come, or should come, with the, the base loose. Um, if someone's been playing with them, it, it could shorten the life of the battery um, because you don't know when they've been turned on. So, when you, when you first get these, these little tags here fit in there and then you turn the base which activates the battery. Um, I don't think the batteries are interchangeable. I've had the top off of this. Um, I'm not advising that you do that. Um, the battery is, is very, very tight in there. You, you can't take it out. So once the battery goes, you just throw that away and you buy a new one. It's that throwaway society we live in. But when you do turn these on, I'll do it for you now. That's clicked and there's a little arm inside that it, it pushes over and obviously um, turns the battery on. Now this could be a, a bit loud for even the dogs and I haven't even pressed it yet. So that's the tiller girls barking at me. Don't do it again dad. Right here we go. That's that tested then. Um, that one works. That's going to be put up now. Um, nice little smoke alarm. It, as I say, in the instructions it tells you, you know, obviously you don't put it by over, over where you boil the kettle and you don't put it over the top of the fire. It gives you all the instructions of where to place them. So go down, get your free alarms, get them on your boat, be safe. Hope it's been used to you and we'll see you again soon. Yep, don't forget to give us a like, um, put some comments down below. We'll also put in the comments below the links to everything. Um,
subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching. Thank See you, you. next time.